Uh, so we'll see how it goes for them. For sure, man. Um, in a move that I didn't agree with this summer, the Cavs fired JB Bickerstaff. The Pistons, they let go of Monty Williams and immediately bring in Bickerstaff to be their new head coach, which, you know, it just wasn't working out with Monty. And I think that this team is more or better set for, for JB Bickerstaff based on what we've seen him work with and do in Cleveland. Uh, if you guys are as old as I am, you can remember way back in the day when David Stearns, may he rest in peace, was the commissioner of the NBA. You couldn't you couldn't walk around dressing how you wanted to after, after, after a certain point. He started implementing suits and things like that. Well, J.B. Bickerstaff has implemented a new rule for the Detroit Pistons. No hoodies up when you are coming into the games, when you're getting interviewed, all that good stuff. It immediately, it immediately made me go back to David Stearns and the way that he ran things as the NBA commissioner. Do we like this? And is JB channeling his inner David Stearns with this new rule for the Detroit Pistons? I like it for the fact that this team didn't play well last year. Uh, and you're coming in and you're, you're, you have young guys who probably, you know, when it becomes, I mean, when it becomes contagious and so does losing. So like you, you want to come in and kind of set the culture. So if that's, Hey, take your hoodie off, even if it's something like small like that, but you're, you're setting certain standards and certain habits. So I kind of like it to that point. You kind of got to get these young guys out of maybe their old bad habits of, just, you know, being young and, and having money and we'll see what that's done to other players and other teams. So you kind of just want to get them with some discipline and some habits, even if it seems stupid. It, uh, it's just something to kind of set the tone. And I think that's kind of what he's doing. He's trying to set the tone to let these guys, young guys know that this is different. This is a different time. We're going to be taking things serious. And whether this is like his small way of setting it right now for a bigger purpose, I kind of like it because uh, obviously – they, they didn't win much last year. I can't say I watched them much last year, but I don't know like what their culture is there and kind of what they're used to. But he's coming in and let them know that this is not a game. I'm serious and I'm setting the tone now. And it seems maybe stupid on the surface, but like it's it's more about the point. Like, hey, this is a new day. Yeah, I think he's coming in and trying to have a similar effect to what's going on in Houston right now when Ime came in and took over. You know, it's like, we you know all you guys are young and you're coming in a little big headed because of what you did when you were in college or, you know, overseas or, you know, whatever. And the fact that you come in as high draft picks, but nobody here has actually accomplished anything. So we need to come in and set and set a culture. And, you know, they, they got a guy in Cade. I, I think highly a Cade. I, I think highly a, a Jaden, Jalen Ivey. Even, you know, it hasn't been great so far for him, but, you know, co coaching matters in this league. So I, I'm expecting a big turnaround for them. I don't think they're going to be a, a postseason team, but they should be a team with like the young talent that they have. And this coach who we know is proven, at least when it comes to working with young teams, because it was an amazing job he did with Cleveland. And they should be a team that can at least challenge for a play-in. Uh, yeah, I mean, the talent's there. Uh, obviously, I don't think they were really as bad as they were last year. I think the ball just got rolling and they couldn't kind of figure it out. Uh, like you said, they have talent. Ivy, uh, uh, Kay Cunningham, uh, Durant, Durant uh, those guys. So there's talent there. Uh, uh, playing, I don't, I don't know, but I, maybe. I think that I think they'll be a lot better than they were. I don't think they're that bad. Uh, so I think uh, with the changes being made, I think they will come in and, and be better and put up a, a better fight. Uh, I, I wouldn't even put playing out the picture. Obviously, that's ten teams, and I think they could they'll be ten. They could be ten, nine. They could be in the fight. But even if they don't get in, I think even being in the fight for it is is, is progress, and they're going to probably take this a year at a time and try to get better as they go.